Hello friends, good morning. I'm in the classroom today and I was just thinking that I wanted to read a story, but I think today's story is going to be a little different. We have some friends that are going to go to kindergarten next year, so they won't be coming back to the classroom with us. And then we have some friends that will be back here in the classroom and I'm super excited. So we have some friends that are getting bigger and they're going to go to the big kids school. And then some friends that are getting bigger that are going to come back here. So first, so all my kindergartners, I have this really fun story. It's called Countdown to Kindergarten. And it is by Allison McGee. And the pictures are by Harry Bliss. So let's read this story and see what's going to happen at kindergarten. What do you think might happen at kindergarten? Are you excited for kindergarten? I'm super excited for you to go to kindergarten. It says, I am in big trouble. Uh-oh, looks like this person might be a little scared. And that's okay to be scared. Let's see what happens. I'm going to kindergarten in 10 days. I've heard from a first grader that they have a lot of rules there. Do you think the kindergarten rules are different than our preschool rules? Rule number three. You're not allowed to bring any stuffed animals. And over the stuffy, you know the rules. Friends, do we get to bring um, stuffed animals to this classroom? I don't think so. I don't expect the, the rules to change a lot, but we can't bring them to this school. Probably shouldn't take them to your big kid school. Rule number two, you're not allowed to bring your cat. Friends, do you bring your cat here? Can I bring my cat here? No, I don't bring my cat here. Probably shouldn't take your cat to, to kindergarten with you, huh? Rule number one, you have to know how to tie your shoes by yourself. You're not allowed to ask for help ever. Do you think that's true? Or do you think that's a pretend rule? I think this person's just scared. It's okay to ask for help, but let's find out. Want to know what I can do? I can count backwards from 10. Have you been practicing your counting your numbers? <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, let's see. She says 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Want to know what I can't do? Uh -oh. She did really good counting. What? Let's find out what she can't do. Tie my shoes. Friends, can you tie your shoes? Some of our friends can tie their shoes and some of our friends can't tie their shoes. And that's okay also. We just have to remember to ask for help. Nine days before kindergarten. This isn't getting any easier. Later. I know, I'll hide my shoes. Mom finds everything. Looky, here's the missing shoe and that needle I've been searching for. Eight days before kindergarten. Yuck, even the rain puddle is out to get me. No, or I know, I'll pull the laces out. Imagine what could happen if I left them in. It's all our fault, Doctor. We made her wear those awful shoelaces. We should have listened to her. I know. I'll throw them out. Your mother found these shoelaces in the trash. Don't they belong in your shoes? I guess. Do you take your laces out of your shoes, or do you ask for help to tie them? Hmm. Seven days before kindergarten. Dad says a lot of five-year-olds don't know how to tie. I guess he hasn't heard kindergarten rule number one. You can't ask us for help ever. I don't think that's true. I think just like here at preschool, when you ask, ask us for help and we help you, it's okay to ask your teachers at kindergarten too. And it's okay to ask your parents. But with summer vacation, maybe you can start practicing. Look, let's see. Dad practices with me. 
Bunny ears, bunny ears cross through. Look at his knot, just the way he showed me. I think practice might make perfect. Six days before kindergarten. What should I try now? Poor Putty, you look so hungry. Putty, here's your lunch. Oh no, she's putting the cat food in her shoe. Later that day, repeat after me. Bowls are for cat food, shoes are for your feet. I think she put the cat food in because she couldn't tie her shoe. Five days before kindergarten. Mom says a lot of five-year-olds don't know how to tie. I guess she doesn't know about rule one either. Once again, you can't ask us for help. Ever, never. I think somebody told her a story when they said that because it's always good to ask for help. I wonder if you can show up at kindergarten wearing your baby shoes. Do you think your feet will still fit in your baby shoes? I'm sorry, baby shoe wearers have to take rest time in the sub-basement. Good luck. What's a rest time? Friends, do we have rest time at, kin at preschool? No, we play with our friends, right? That's different. And that's okay, because when we go to different classrooms, they have different rules too. Okay, back to my bedroom for more practice. Loop, pull, around, poke, and pull. Meow! Ah, she accidentally tied the kitty up in her shoelace. But she's practicing, and you have plenty of time to practice before you go to kindergarten next year. Psst! Four days before kindergarten. What will I ever do? What bows? This boy is wearing a bow on his... Poor Mr. Ducky is so sad. He still doesn't know how to tie either. Maybe a ride in a canoe would cheer him up. Careful, Mr. Ducky. Don't you know you should never stand up in a canoe? Repeat after me. Shoes are not canoes. Hey, that's rhyming, right? Did you hear that rhyming word? Shoes are not canoes. Shoes and canoes. Interesting. This book is getting us ready for kindergarten, friends. Three days before kindergarten. Loop, pull around, poke and pull. Dad is so nice. He even bought me new laces that should help. Snack time for footy. Looks like she put the shoelaces in a bowl and it says syrup, ketchup, and toothpaste. That does not sound good. Later that day, I know, I know, repeat after me. Shoelaces are not food. <laughs> That's a little silly right there, huh? Two days before kindergarten, my parents are taking me out for my favorite dinner. Spaghetti to celebrate the start of school. I don't see anything to celebrate. How's your bowl of shoelaces? I mean, spaghetti. Dad says, don't worry, sweetie. It just takes time. But kindergarten starts in two days. What if I have to wear a sign that says, Velcro girl? Is it a bad thing that she needs to wear Velcro? I don't think so. Sometimes I like to wear shoes that don't have laces. And sometimes I wish my shoes with laces had Velcro because sometimes I just don't want to tie my shoes. But it's okay to practice to tie your shoes. One day before kindergarten. What if they don't let me have playground time and no one gets to see me jump rope, counting backwards from 10? What if they don't let me have snack time or I miss the last bell and get locked in school all night without you, Putty? And I miss my dinner and my dessert and my bedtime story and my goodnight kiss. I'm doomed. Meow. You'll be all right. First day of kindergarten. Look at all those feet. All those bows. Later that morning. Really? Your dad tied your shoes for you? Me too. You guys can't tie your shoes either? You only know three kindergartners who can tie their shoes. Three, two, one. That's all.
I thought I was the only one. I guess I'm not in such big trouble after all. Oh, friends, can you see the rules on the board? Let's read the chalkboard. It says Monday, shoe tying. Teacher can help. Tuesday, stuffed animal day. Wednesday, counting backwards from 10. So that means everything that our friend was afraid of in kindergarten is okay in kindergarten. And that's a fun story, huh? I also have this one called Kindergarten Diary. Let's see. Let's see. Um, by Antoinette Portis. And it says that it's Annalena. So a kindergarten friend named Annalena helped write this story too. All right, so it says the day before the first day of school. I don't want to go to kindergarten. I only like preschool. I don't want to go to big school with big kids. What if they're mean? Is it okay to be afraid? I think it is. But it's okay because we make new friends and new friends are okay. Let's see. My mom says I have to go to big school. So here's what I am going to wear. My rainbow bathing suit, my ballet skirt, my plaid shirt, my cowboy boots, and definitely no socks. My mom says I have to look nice today and I have to wear socks. Interesting outfit. My mom walked me to, to my classroom and held my hand hard. The teacher made all the grown-ups leave. Hardly anybody cried. Do we cry when we come to preschool? Not all of us do. And that's okay. It's also okay to cry at kindergarten. Let's see. Then we sat on the rug. We are room 2K. We are fine. Look, all the kids are having fun in the classroom, and the mommies and daddies are looking worried. I was worried my teacher would be scary, but she's a very unscary, or, but she is very unscary. Her name is Dorothy Duffy, and her nickname is Dot. We call her Miss Duffy. Her brother used to call her Polka Dot. Welcome to Room 2K. We have our own playground. The big kids aren't allowed to come in. Today, we pretended the monkey bars were in the jungle. One boy went all the way across. Then I tried and I fell off and the alligators almost ate me. The pretend alligators. Hey, we play pretend here at preschool. Today, I made a farm with blocks and cows. Miss Duffy said I had to share. I wanted the cows to be all mine. Then David M. and me made a very, very, very big tower of cows. He's coming over to my house to play tomorrow. He can whistle. Oh, look at that. She started sharing and made a new friend. Friends, do we share here at preschool and make friends that way too? We sure do. We are practicing writing our names. Annalena takes too many letters. I'm going to change my name to Anna and save the Lena for when I am bigger. Me and Zoe played at recess today. Zoe likes socks. She always wears something pink. She let me use her extra jump rope. It's pink. That's super cool. She's making friends all over the place and she wrote her name. That's the same thing we do here at preschool too. We practice writing our name and we make friends and we share our toys and we have an imagination and we pretend a lot of things are different. Sounds like kindergarten's not too different from preschool. Let's find out. Today we pretended the monkey bars were on a spaceship and you had to hold on or you would float away forever. David M went all the way across forward and backward. I kept practicing even though I got a blister I went almost all the way across before I fell off. Zoe saved me. Well, that's a nice friend to save her. 
I was scared to go up and, and do show and tell in front of everyone, but then it was my turn. I showed my doll shoes, red cowboy boots, yellow sneakers, green ice skates that my dog almost ate, a blue car. Then Miss Duffy said, thank you, Anna. Now let someone else have a turn. I love show and tell. David M. is my best friend, and also Zoe. Zoe is afraid to touch her snail. Maybe if snails were pink and sparkly, she would like them. Wow, look at that. She went to kindergarten, and she got two best friends. That's exciting. Friends, did you know you could have more than one best friend? That's a good thing. Let's see what's happening here. My dad's scissors were sitting by the sink this morning, and I got an idea. It's harder to cut hair than I thought. Uh-oh. I brought an extra cookie in my lunch for Zoe. I had to, to taste it to see if it was okay. It was. Friends, do we play with scissors on our hair, or do we just use the scissors on the paper? I think you're just supposed to use the scissors on the paper. I don't think cutting your hair is a very good idea. We have homework now like big kids. This week, it's finding pictures of a thing that starts with A, like Anna. Poor Zoe. She has to wait a very, very, very long time to get to her letter. What letter do you think the name Zoe starts with? Hmm, listen. Z, z. What sound says z? Is it a is it a b? B b z. No, that's different. How about uh s? S, s, z, z. No, s is different. Let me look. Let's see. Can you see that letter right there? The letter Z. Very good, friends. Z says Z, Z, Zoe. Very good. And then Anna has an apple and an alligator and an astronaut and an aeroplane. Those all start with the letter A. David M. said he was the best big red ball hitter in the whole world. We played at recess. I beat him three times in a row. David M. won't play big red ball with me anymore. Happy birthday, David M. We had a party with cupcakes at school. Wow, that's different. We don't do that here at preschool. Hmm, that sounds like fun. With lots of frosting. Oh, wow, look at all their faces. We have a pet tortoise in room 2K. We feed her bugs and tomatoes. Guess who got to name her? Who do you think named the tortoise? Let's see. The name tag says Lucy Izzy Chunky Ola by Anna. Well, that's an interesting name to name a, a turtle. I am definitely good at the monkey bars and I can go across, forward, and backward without stopping. I am the second best monkey in the universe. The first graders came over and teased us for being little. They think they're all grown up like they're 12. I asked Miss Duffy and she said, we have been in kindergarten for almost a whole month. That is a very, very, very long time. When I'm in first grade, I'm not going to be scared. When I'm in first grade, I'm not going to be mean. But right now, I, like Zoe and David M, and Miss Duffy, and the monkey bars, and making tortoise pictures, and I definitely like kindergarten. P.S. We are room 2K. We are fine. Friends, that was a fun story. And I think that gives us a good example of um, what kindergarten is going to be like. But from the sounds of both the stories, I don't think that kindergarten is going to be very much different than preschool, but it does sound exciting to meet new people and have a new teacher and make new friends. I'm so excited and I can't wait for all my friends who are going to kindergarten 
I wish you well, and I hope you have lots of fun, all right? And you can write me letters and send them here to school to tell me what you think of your new big kid school. I'll be waiting. I'm so excited, and I'm so proud of you guys. Have a good day. Bye.